The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Oh, alien abductions reported. View abduction sites. Let's see. Mission Easy is in New York. Uh, reward we get for scientists. And in China, we have another mission. Reward is 200 simoleons. It looks like simoleons to me, so we're going to call it simoleons. On one hand, it's in New York, so no loss there. But on the other hand, I would kind of like to have the scientists more than the money. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to New York. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. He killed like two aliens. Come on. These guys will have the same amount of experience after five minutes. Let's see. Uh, we can't. We can only do four right now. But as we progress, we can actually have more units with us, which obviously is a good thing. You can also uh, customize them. You can change their abilities, which right now they're just squatties, so we can't do that. Loadout. Later on, obviously right now we don't have many options on weapons and grenades and all that, but this will change so that you can customize all of that. You can change their names, you can change the way they look. I like this with this right now. And since this is our first episode, I won't be doing that just now. But I do have a theme in mind for what I'm going to go for with my, my squad, so we will cover that later on. Since we don't really have a whole lot of options here anyway, I don't think we can... Okay, good. We can head launch the mission. So we can get to the game proper. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. I'm, I was always disappointed that I never finished this game. So it's about time that I did. On the mission site, setting down. Let's begin assault on New York. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Okay, let's go ahead and launch. I like how their heads bob like they're listening to the music or something, but they don't seem to have earbuds or anything in. Oh well. I'm also going to use, I saw there's a mod to make, graphically to make it look better. Won't really matter for, you know, YouTube folks, but not that it looks bad by any stretch. The textures are a little bleh, but... Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Okay. Use left shift and tab to change the current soldier selected. You can also left click on the soldier that you want to select. There we go. Much easier. Uh, we want her... We don't want her to run in front of it. And we'll go into that in a bit. Oh, no, it actually does want me to go in front of it. Fine. Good. Now open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. We will left click on the door. Okay. Now take cover inside. And we'll move her up a bit. Again, right. behind cover, now always. I want a man on the roof of that building. Well, it's gotta See be a man. Find a way up there, soldier. All right, so there's a pipe here. Surely we can climb on that, or or maybe not. Oh, we have to choose this heavy first. And oh, oh, it was weird. You can change elevations by using mouse scroll or middle mouse. Wait, what? Mouse scroll. Oh, there we go. So we can see we can get up on roofs. So we're going to actually have him run on over here. Cover a pretty good distance. Luckily, climbing up pipes doesn't take that long there as far as are. action points. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. One thing I don't like is you can't ever sneak up on the aliens as far as I know. Like, I think it should give you a choice that once you see them, you actually surprise them and get a few free rounds off. But that, as far as I know, that never happens. And I completely missed what he said. I think he just said to get him in position. So what we want to do, I would like to get him to flank around, but that's a long way to flank. The other thing you have to be careful of when trying to flank is you might run into other aliens and trigger them, and now they're flanking you. So you got to be careful with that. I don't think it's going to be an easy way to flank these guys. Uh, let's get him up here, though. To get him in position. We might have 
this person run inside as well to kind of hide. Can we... We can't dash that far. He can get behind this, though. So go ahead and run on in. They already know where we are anyway. Goosh! Her foot came through the door. Alien activity. Oh, God. And he destroyed my cover. That could be bad. Press enter to activate the tactical combat UI. Or left click on the action. What, so what does enter do? Oh, I see. Okay. Left... Use shift, left shift and tab or something to change targets. Targets and par partial cover are easier to hit. Okay, we can use left shift and tab to switch back and forth. So this guy is at 68%. This guy is 58. However, the problem is... Wait, what's more info? Oh, it tells you, it breaks it down, like why you have the percentage chance that you have Abilities that uh, you can learn later on. So we want to actually, I want to get out of this, actually. Tab, was it? No, shift? It was shift. Oh, whoops, I didn't necessarily mean to do that. I have to learn the controls. Now, he's in big danger, though. Uh, that's why I actually wanted to get him to move instead of firing, because now this guy can shoot at him unless we can take him out so what i want to do is move her up to here where she's got full cover and take a shot here you can see how many aliens that particular unit can see if you hover over it it shows the percentage 31 percent uh not great but doesn't hurt to make a, sh a shot Missed. yes thank you i i realize that wait he can actually see that alien 25 percent Let's actually move him here. Now we are, again, we are kind of in danger. If there's any aliens over here, we could trigger them, but I'm gonna take that risk with his life. Run over here. So now I think he's flanking him. I think yellow means flank, maybe. So 70% chance to hit, much better. Let's go ahead and take him out. Great work out there, people. The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. Okay. Also, one thing I do not like about this game is, if I remember correctly, XP is based off who gets the last shot. I think that's pretty stupid. I think it should be an all-around squad thing. I mean, if it's a, t it's a teamwork game, so it seems silly to me to make the last hit to be the one that matters. Anyway, so again, we are going to continue to move up very slowly. Uh, let's see, she, wait, who is, who's targeted? Wait, who, I've already forgotten how to, nope. Yeah, okay, that's how we select. Uh, let's get her to move up. Again, always moving behind cover. And I'm worried about this guy. Alien activity, that means there's definitely other aliens left on the map. Can I select this? Do not want him there because he is wide open. So let's go ahead and get him behind cover. And let's switch to this person. I've already forgotten some of the controls. Sorry about that. Again, I tend to be very cautious. I know it's probably overkill on this difficulty, but it's good good practice so that if I do decide to do the harder difficulties later on, it won't be so bad. So go ahead and get her behind the same half cover. See, it might be better. Yeah, you can go behind here. You got full cover here. And... Go Overwatch. Overwatch is OP as, as hell. Overwatch means that you're not firing this round, but if an alien moves during your... Like, like let's say I go into Overwatch, and then an alien on their turn runs this way. I get automatic free shots as soon as he comes into to view. It's pretty broken. I don't know if they ever nerfed it or not, but... You see, you fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight at a small aim penalty. I don't, yeah, I don't know if they ever nerfed that, but holy shit, Overwatch is really good. So we'll be using that a lot. I probably should have reloaded as well. So let's wait for the aliens. Now the aliens don't move until you see them, which again, I think is is a flaw in the game in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna have him dash up. Okay, and 
Let's take a look, look at the map. They could be over here. But given the size of the area, he's probably going to be over there somewhere. Uh, but we're probably safe to go ahead and... I mean, there's a small chance they're over here and could get a shot. But again, I'm going to kind of risk it. After I just said I'm going to be cautious. But okay, it looks like we're pretty... This is clear over here. So let's go ahead and dash here. Again, if you want to be more cautious, you shouldn't do it this way. Because this. I've spotted them. This gives them a chance to move. My squad is almost totally out of moves. And if I would have planted a little bit more intricately, I could spot them. And then still have enough movement to get some shots off on them. It, again, it's probably not going to matter too much on this difficulty, but it's just something to think about. Let's go ahead and move you all the way up here. I'm trying to get in position. And on the harder difficulties, and especially on Iron Man difficulty, Iron Man difficulty, if you're not familiar, you cannot, there is no save and reload. If you lose all your, your troops on a mission, or lose one or two, it's over. So, yeah. All right, he went in Overwatch. A veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. All right, so let's take advantage of this heavy that we have to blow up the cover. Uh, he is... Okay, text is... Okay, he is... Wait, no, that's the heavy. That's the heavy. Go back to him. There he is. And of course, he's like the furthest away. So, we are going to... There's nowhere he can move and still shoot, I don't think. I'll try moving him up here. Ah, uh, but he's... Ah, uh, the aliens have Overwatch too. That could be a problem. Let's move him up here first. There's no harm in doing that. Fire rocket. Uh, shot is blocked. Okay, and then we'll move him up to here. Hopefully we're still out of range. We are not. Hopefully he misses. Ouch. He crits, of course, because he's an asshole. All right, who do we have now? There's not really a way to flank from here that's safe. Actually, she can kind of do that from there. You can't overwatch more than once, thank God. Uh, well, there's upgrades you can get that allow you to do it, but by default, most enemies and yourself cannot do that. Uh, let's... She's coming up that way. Let's go ahead and have him move here. And see if I can get a shot off. Probably. Yeah, 25%. Not great, but. Missed. And let's see. She can actually make a shot too. How much is it? 25%? She's not gonna get much better shot from moving up, I don't think. Nope. She missed as well, which was. Anticipated. Hopefully he doesn't kill that heavy, because we really needed to blow that shit up. I think they're being a little... Well, maybe not. Uh-oh. Like nope. We learned on our last mission, people. These things have highly advanced weapons. Be careful out there. That was some serious bad luck there. Um... Yeah, this is gonna suck, because they have really good cover. And they killed our fucking heavy. So that's incredibly annoying, but what are you going to do? There is one guy that we can hit, though. That's 65%. Let's try that. Asshole. Taken care of. And because they were Mind Link, it actually kills both. There, well, that really if sucks. I mean, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Rating good. Yeah, that wasn't really good. Yeah, I um, I knew that he might be shot at, but the crit is what totally boned him. And then getting shot again while he was behind cover. But it happens. It's going to happen. And even though I'm not iron on Iron Man, I do not have any intention of abusing, saving, and loading by any stretch. All right, so we got two people that got promotions. The assault class serves as our front line. 
They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Okay. She is assault. And, Our snipers specialize uh, in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Love my snipers very much. Fires a shot with a 30% crit chance and extra damage on crit hits based on the tech level of the sniper rifle. Two turn cooldown. Okay, let's continue. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, we got two sectoid corpses and four weapon fragments for research. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. <laughs> Try not to lose a troop every single time, though. You hack. New facility available. Laboratory. Each laboratory increases research speed by 20%. Adjacency bonus. 10% increase to research speed for every adjacent laboratory. Use the build facility option in engineering to construct this facility. Operation Cursed Father. The XCOM squad deployed to the United States has successfully stopped the alien abduction in New York, United States. It is deeply, or wait, New York. United States is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be used to the XCOM project. Panic has increased across Asia because I did not help China. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Oh, well, that's great. Thanks for naming it that. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Okay. So, I am actually going to stop it here. Again, I kind of want to... Can I not go back? Okay, I guess I have to scan for activity. Hold on. I guess we'll wait. I don't want to do the any missions, though. The schematics for the nanofiber vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for fabrication. Nice. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. Okay. Xenobiology. Well, now that we've got the corpses, uh, that we can go into all types of them, it is crucial that we gain a thorough understanding of the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to combating them. Go ahead and begin that. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Okay. Oh. Engineering online. <laughs> It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Oh, snap. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Okay, so for real this time, let's go ahead and save it. As you can see, I, I have played before. I've said that, though. Anyway, so yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Let me know if there's any issues, sound graphical issues anything like that do you guys notice obviously i'm going to be looking as well to see if i notice any problems but yeah let me know what you're thinking of the series so far we're starting off pretty slow start and uh, not a great start either i did screw up i lost the one heavy but uh we'll we'll get it figured out so yeah anyway thanks again for watching like my videos if you like them that does help me out a lot follow me on twitter and i will see you next time